How you doing YouTube? Back with another Infinite Flight video. I am in O'Hare in Chicago region, uh, prepared to take another uh, 600 nautical mile flight. I'm taking these long flights trying to get my um, experience points up because I don't really fly a whole lot. Uh, but today's video what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to pause the video, then I'm going to come back to you right when I'm at about 26,000 feet or flight level 260. And I'm going to be showing um, beginners what happens when you transition through flight level 280 um, and how to set the, um, the climb speed the mock climb speed especially once you're past uh, flight level 240 well it should already be set as you get past 10,000 feet in infinite flight just gradually set it up to the mock climb speed so um, I'll do that and then I'll come back to you right when I'm around flight level 260 so uh, bear with me and I should be back in a short all right, I'm back with you. Um, we're coming up on flight level 260. I've been flying for about 12 minutes. So you can do the math on my uh, rate of climb, my vertical speed. So you can see what um, rate I was at on average. I got a pretty sharp turn coming up right here that I have to pay attention to as I'm uh, talking to you. So bear with me when I do that. All right, so I'm gonna decrease my, oops, my vertical speed to zero and make this turn first. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my altimeter for flight level 280. Then gradually increase my rate of climb. Let that come up. Checking my uh, notes that uh, some pilots left. They say that you can climb at 1,500 feet per minute. I don't want it to take too long. I'll put it at 12. Now, what I could do is back this off to 285 on my speed because the mock climb speed to get to the cruising altitude, the cruise ceiling is 41,000 feet. Watch what happens if you're a beginner and you have not flown this high. Pay attention over these next 1,000 feet when we get to flight level 280 and pass it. That's 28,000 feet that I have set. Watch what happens. Now I'm in a Boeing 737-700. I'll show it to you real quick. There, let's get back in the cockpit. If you have not flown this high before, this is the part where you have to pay attention to. Because for every plane, they have a mock climb speed. The mock speed doesn't switch over until you get to flight level 280. And then once you're there, sometimes you can set your altimeter for 30,000 and as you climb through flight level 280 this SPD is going to switch it's going to change over so what I'm gonna do now now that we've settled in I'm gonna go ahead and increase my altimeter to my cruising altitude of 29,000 feet and you see what happened as we went through it switched over to mock speed Remember I told you the mock climb speed for this plane 
is 0.74, so I needed to turn it down a little bit. That's why when it was at 290, that's why I backed it down to 285 because I've been flying on infinite flight for so long, I've kind of started getting used to what the, um, the speeds need to be in order to hit the mark as close as possible so I don't have to turn it down too much. And then after we're at our altitude that we'll be flying at, I'll go ahead and increase this to 31,000 feet. After I'm at the altitude that I'm going to be flying at, then I set my mock speed for my cruising speed and not the mock climb speed. The cruising speed for this plane is point, 0 0.78 or 0 0.79. And I may set it for 0 0.79 and, and, and leave it there. And, um, and cruise all the way to my destination at flight level 310 at mock speed 0 0.74. I mean 0 0.79. This is why that if anybody tells you to set your cruising speed when you're climbing to 300,000, when you already, I mean, excuse me, to 300 knots, when you already know you're going to be cruising at, say, 30,000, 36,000 feet, you don't want to do that because when you pass through flight level 280, what's going to happen is that speed indicator is going to be registering one point so it's such and such. If you set it too high, you'll be over speeding and that's what you don't want to do. I had come across a question on, um, let me check and see where my turn is. When I get to the two minute mark, I'm gonna turn. And I had come across a question about the um, setting the, the, mock, the mock speed, I mean the, 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 the cruising speed, and there was just all types of um, speeds that were being uh, given for the person or any types of questions outside of the um, correct one because all of the commercial airliners have cruising speeds dependent upon the altitude. Now, if you fly below, if you go on a real airplane and you fly below, say, um, a certain altitude, it's very well possible that they'll be cruising uh, faster. Let me set this next one. Excuse me. What is that? 240. Give me a second. I needed to get that turn started. I started it a little later than I wanted to. I think I still have room. I don't want to fly off the map. Let me set this to 235. That way, we'll give it room. When you're going... Um, this fast, it takes a, a long time for the plane to make turns. They're usually pretty wide. And so as I was saying, when it comes to your cruising altitude, be certain that when you set, after you pass through flight level 10, uh, well, 10,000 feet, you've turned off your landing lights and you start increasing your altimeter and you start increasing your speed and you set your vertical speed, be certain not to set your speed reading too fast. Do your research on the planes. One of the best um, resources for the planes is skybrary.aero. I have a video on um, uh, tutorial uh, for uh, resources that you can use in my uh, Infinite Flight for Beginner playlist so check that out um so that you can um let's go ahead and set this because i'm not going to climb anymore so that you can um now that i've finished that turn let me see where i'm oh yeah that's good i'm headed for that vor so that you can see uh and start and start practicing how to set your climb speed 
because for the plane, the commercial planes, I'm not talking about the military aircraft, only the commercial airliners, each one of them can have a climb speed anywhere from 270 to 290. And what ends up happening is as you get closer to um, 28,000 feet, for those planes that have a climb speed that is below 290, you'll start increasing it in small increments so that you get close to its mock climb speed. And so you saw for this one, it's as I stated, it's mock climb speed being 0.74. I backed down my speed reader to 285 just to make sure I wasn't um, over speeding for the plane, okay? Um, so that's pretty much all I have for you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop the video here and I'm gonna continue my flight. I still have 500 nautical miles to go on this plane. So if you have any questions about uh, climb speed, cruising speed, uh, and the mock speed for the different commercial airliners, I don't fly the military aircraft. It's not, it's not my preference. But if you have any questions about the uh, commercial airliners, the small ones, all the way up to the big ones. I mean, even the CR, CRJ200, all the way up to the A380-800. Let me know. I have notes on all of the planes. So um, keep flying. And please, give my video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more Infinite Flight uh, tutorials.